Hey guys, uh, real quick decided I was going to do a video with one of these while I had one out. This is the distribution box that I offer and sell. So uh, the whole story to this is people are always asking me how you power multiple 240 volt machines, blah, 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 blah. I had been coaching people on how to build their boxes for a while and I decided that uh, I would start making some of them for some of our guys now everybody wants to buy these they're fairly nice uh it is just a distribution box it doesn't have a booster in it or anything like that it just splits power up all of these units are made to order we can do these in three wire and four wire setups the four wire setups will come with 120 volt outlet uh everything is done to code so i'm not giving you anything with a ground and a neutral hook together you're just not going to get that off of me if you want something like that do it yourself so short rundown of how the three wire box works the three wire box um they're again they're made to order they're made for everybody usually what i do with these is i put an outlet for a big machine be on a 25 or a 30 amp breaker depending on what machine you're running and then a 20 or a 15 or 220s so on and so forth for whatever kind of equipment you desire to run off of them. This particular box has NEMA L630 30 amp twist locks in it. The boxes can be bought with 20 amp or 30 amp twist locks in it. So all of the boxes, regardless of whether they're 20 amp or 30 amp outlets, get an L630 input for the three wire setups for the 240 volt only. Uh, that is so, you know, you keep your amp draw above what the cord is. If you guys are running uh, particularly high draw equipments and setups and you need to talk to me about other things, I also offer this with a 50 and 60 amp inlet. That's a little bit of a different setup. So it's a little bit more money. So now all of what comes on this box is going to be your inlet, L630 inlet. You're going to have a screen, it has your voltage, it has your power in watts, which is actually very handy. And then it has your current in amps. Your current in amps is going to tell you uh, how to stay under a circuit size. So if you have a 30 amp circuit, it's going to tell you, if you're plugging this into a 30 amp circuit, you're going to make sure that this stays under 30 amps. And then down here, you have one L630 outlet another one over here and another one over here these are flanged outlets so you're not having cord hanging out there's no strain reliefs or anything like that to break the box has a six gauge wire coming in off of the l630 to the mains uh where you plug it in is obviously going to operate as your main breaker feed for the box itself so if you're running off a dryer or stove outlet with a 30 or 50 amp you're good um so six gauge wire comes in from the L630 and then we have a 10 gauge coming out. Everything in this box is balanced. So all of your leads are gonna be the same length. There's not gonna be a risk of overheating. Everything is tinned and soldered. There's no quick connections in here. Uh, the boxes are not gonna have a bootleg ground in them. I will not do that. You can do that yourself. Uh, this setup right here, the way that this runs. Oh, the other things I want to show you on this. I put a handle on every box. This particular handle I ran out, so I used an old drawer from my garage. I put non-metal feet on every box with a hook type foot that you can hang your box somewhere. And I put an auxiliary ground chain on every box in case you should have a grounding problem. You're not going to get electrocuted running the box the way that it is they come with logos and all that crap on the front i leave everybody a little love note you've probably seen on the inside of the box and some warnings uh but basically that's just that uh again this setup three wire boxes are 350 bucks as long as the cost of the devices doesn't go up much higher same thing for if you want this box with l620 outlets uh, then you're getting a an L620 box, but it will still have the L630 coming in. And then the four wire setups with 110 volt out, um, those go up a little bit in price. I also usually put a USB outlet on that for the guys that are buying them. They, they seem to really like that. You can charge your phone and stuff. 
when you're not uh, when 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 you're when you're not using it. So 350 for this setup. If you don't like the price, I don't care. Build your own. Um, if you do like the price and you want to order one, go right ahead. You just got to give me some time to make these. Um, the four wire boxes are starting at about 450. Again, I've had a lot of special requests with dudes going through and asking to be able to split up three boosters off 100 amp feet. If you want to do that, I can do that, but I custom price the boxes based on that. Um, can't think of anything else on this. It's just a quick, easy setup. But again, tendon soldered, no shit connections inside, flanged outlets so you don't have strain reliefs and cords hanging out of your boxes. They're very small. You can put them inside of a toolbox and uh you don't get a cord with it that's just my test cord if you don't like that you don't get a cord buy something else so that's that mad science flooring distribution box thanks